What is going on guys? We're back playing some more Surviving with Batania. Now today guys, we're going to be automating the production of smooth stone. Now unfortunately, I do not believe that this is one of the challenges. Uh, if we look at them, you can see that we have a cobble generator. Coincidentally, that is easier to make than what we're making today, but there is no smooth stone generator. The nice thing though, is what we are making today is going to work perfectly with something we're going to do most likely next episode, which is the auto pure daisy. Now we'll be able to automate living rock off of the smooth stone automation pretty easily. And along with that, if you really did want to automate living wood, uh, which we use a little bit less frequently, we did set up the automated tree farm, which eventually will get even better. And that'll be able to work hand in hand with this too. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully we'll do that next episode, but today we're just going to focus on getting the smooth stone. And along with that, we are going to be upgrading gear today because I died a fair bit prepping for this episode. As you can see, I've had to revert back to some of my old tools. This right here is, it's not my proudest moment to have to use this. Uh, I ended up finding it in this chest right up here. It was sitting up here, uh, I guess from basically the first stone pick I ever made, uh, something along the lines of that. And I needed to use it to clear out an area over there. So I'm gonna try and get rid of this as quickly as possible, but I did lose a little bit of stuff prepping for today and it did take a while. So it was slightly, you know, annoying to prep for considering all we're doing is automating smooth stone, but we should be able to jump into it. Not a ton that needs to be crafted for this. Uh, so some of the stuff in here is going to be for the armor and some of it's already actually been crafted, but what we're going to start out crafting is going to be a floating white flower. It can be any floating flower, but we did a white flower last time. So why don't we just stick with the trend? Uh, so what we're going to do is get out the glowstone dust. We can grab out actually all of this stuff because this is what we need to make a floating hopper hawk. So we're going to be doing any white or any mystical flower to glowstone that gets the glimmering flower. I know that's a huge issue with people as they click on this and they're like, oh, it's just a, you know, mystical flower. And it turns out it's a glimmering flower and they don't actually look at the recipe. So just a heads up if you're having some issues with that crafting, then a pasture seed and dirt. And we have our floating white flower. Now what we need to do is actually make the hopper hawk, which of course is just going to be a rune of air, two light gray and two gray petals, the redstone root and some seeds. And I'll have to fill this up over here since I think it's already empty. So we'll fill that up and we will toss all of these in. Okay, so I wanted to make sure that they do get in there considering we've got a lot of hopper hawks around here that could steal away the stuff to make another hopper hawk. But we'll throw those in there and I'll refill it this time just to be, no, no, okay, it didn't go anywhere. That could have been bad. Uh, so now that we have this, we can take our floating white flower and all you gotta do is combine it with a functioning flora and boom, you have that floating version of that plant. Now we're gonna come back in here and we've got the chest to go with it. We've got the item frames to go with that and I should probably clear out my inventory of all this stuff. Uh, we've got some living rock to build with and some glass and then we got a mana pool a hovering hourglass that we're going to need two sand for i've got the stone to go in the item frame we got our water our lava uh we don't need any of this stuff this is going to be for gear then we've got the stuff to make a pulse mana spreader right over here i think i keep using red petals uh and i don't know why but i just keep doing that uh, is it like this? Yeah, there we go. So we got our mana spreader. We now have our pulse mana spreader. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to need to craft for today is going to be a type of mana lens. And this is basically what the whole setup is based around. And I think it's a pretty awesome concept. So it is going to be the mana lens weight. Now what this does is it essentially hits a block and it's going to cause that block to fall as if you placed sand up high somewhere and it was going to fall down. Now basically we're going to be using this to make the stone that is just created fall down onto a half slab and of course it'll be broken then and that will do the same effect as silk touching it and if you really wanted to do like a cobblestone generator like this you could do the same thing except just basically use like a bore lens or something along those lines which is you know still pretty expensive there's definitely cheaper ways to make it but uh yeah you do need this to be able to actually get the smooth stone itself and not get cobblestone now this is the hard stuff to get because it did take prismarine shards, but essentially what we're going to be doing is just making a generic mana lens and then you take prismarine shards and we have our leftover rune of water and we have our mana lens of weight right now and it kind of looks funny. It's like gray and, and getting pulled down. Uh, so initially when I saw this, I imagined it was one of these up here because we've got velocity, 
potency, all these, um, and I couldn't find it. I was like, oh no, you know, the setup is ruined, but no, it's hiding down here. It's kind of a, a dull blue color, and there we go. So that's going to go on the Pulse Mana Spreader. Now, I just want to say, if you guys were curious why the video kept cutting, uh, my roommate ended up walking in. Uh, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to class today. Totally going to class today. I record, like, when his class will be halfway through. Like, five minutes after I start, he just bursts through the door. Hey, what's up? So, looks like he wasn't going to class today. And it looks like a tree grew here and didn't, didn't uh, get completely eaten up. Yep. Okay, well... That's unfortunate that that right there didn't get eaten, but we are going to be setting it up over here. So, uh, this area is just kind of set up in the generic fashion, and I actually do have to craft one more thing, That now that I think of it, uh, the half slabs. Now, I'm making this out of living rock brick because I think it looks really cool. It goes along with this right here, and it, since we're not really cra or, uh, building anywhere inside, uh, it's kind of nice to not just be building on dirt. Now, the reason I'm building this into a wall is because it's pretty darn small, and you know, it's got lava and water, and it's not going to be spilling out, but you probably don't want to be walking around it and over it a ton. So, what we're going to be doing is setting this up three different layers. So, the first layer is going to be two of the blocks and then a half slab in the center. The next layer is going to be, and I, I'll put a block here. You don't need a block here at all, but we're going to put a block there. So, it's just a straight layer like that. And the last layer is going to be another straight layer like this. So, it's essentially three layers of stairs. But the middle block on the bottom row is a half slab. So what we're going to do now is get out our glass. And I actually don't know if I have enough glass to completely do what I want to with this. So what I think we're going to do is fill in the sides like this. Uh, normally I would do a different block here that you could see through. But once you have those stairs, you're going to fill in the sides. So it's kind of like railings for stairs, except this block's a half slab. Uh, so there you go. You're going to do it like that. And now it's time to start placing stuff down. So we're going to place the chest down right here. We can place down the floating hopper hawk right on top of it. So it'll bind to it. And then we're going to throw down an item frame. Now you don't need the item frame necessarily, depending on where you're building this. But because we're building it close to basically everything else, and they all require item frames right now, at least this one is not set to requiring item frames solely because uh, you really can't make it require item frames when we've got all these different types of flowers over here for it to get. Uh, and of course, if we were doing that, it would it would not be able to pick all of them up. But this one over here is requiring item frames. So doing that kind of prevents it from stealing anything that it should not put in a chest and possibly messing up automation if you have this hooked up to kind of a bigger system. So we're gonna throw the item frame on there and we will grab out the smooth stone and throw it in the item frame. And We'll take out the wand of the forest and make sure that it's picking up only items in frames. So what we're going to do now is get a mana pool and we're going to throw it down over here. I'm pretty sure, I don't know what mana pool it's bound to right now. Uh, which one is it bound to? I have no idea. Um, I want to say it's that one, but that one's still really far away. But we'll throw a mana pool down here and another thing that we are going to do is come back over here and we're actually going to be taking this living rock and this diamond and the, I want to say the fastest way to move mana, since we have a relatively full mana pool over here, is to make a uh, mana tablet. And we can use that later for other stuff, but we have the mana tablet. And right now, let's click on this really fast and see that it is currently taking it from the mana tablet. So let's... Oh gosh, I forget how you switch this. Okay, guys, so I am a little bit confused right here because uh, it turns out I was doing it right. I do know how to make mana move from this to an item. Uh, so right now, if we look at it, it is taking it from the item and putting it into a mana pool. Uh, now, if we throw it on the mana tablet, obviously nothing is going to happen. And basically, you're supposed to be able to shift right click with Wand of the Forest and it will switch it. But if even though I turn this into, you know, functional mode, Either of these, it does not want to switch it. It doesn't work with any of my mana pools. And I really don't know why that is the case. So unfortunately, we might have to, you know, take this and fire it over at this mana pool over here. So I might need to break the runic altar and just allow this to charge up over here. Okay, guys. So I don't know what actually happened, but it turns out my wand of the forest is like broken right now. Or, oh, you know what? It's bound to this. It is currently bound to that right there. No wonder I was having trouble with it. That is unfortunate on so many levels. Okay, well, it just occurred to me that that was actually the case. 
uh, because I wasn't able to flip any of these. And it was kind of annoying because I knew I was clicking on this the right way, but it wasn't actually pulling mana. So you know what? We'll just we'll toss this in there for now because there's no reason to deal with that because this one is already working on this. So we already flipped it. Um, and what we need to do now is take the mana tablet and throw it down here at least for a little bit. And it will suck up some of the mana from here. I don't want it sucking up a ton. So we're only going to grab out a little bit and we can swap that back. Uh, so it's not giving mana items. It's shift right click if you're curious. And I was really confused as to why that wasn't working before. But what we can do now is come back over here and throw down the mana tablet onto this thing when we're ready for it to start going. But what we need to do now is take the pulse mana spreader and toss it down on top of this. And I guess it actually doesn't matter necessarily what way we throw it down. We can always uh, switch its direction. So let us see. So we need it to be firing over here. So there we go. It is now firing into this block right here. That's exactly how we want it. And we can take a water bucket now and we can throw it down right here. Now it should not be able to spill out because of what's going on down here. And lastly, what we're gonna do is take the glass and we are going to build right up here and build around the top of this so that it's a nice three by three with a hole in the center and the hole in the center is going to be coming down oh that's a lot another portal right on top of this flowing water block now what we're going to do with this is take the lava and we are going to put it right in up here like so and it's going to make smooth stone right in front of that and if we really wanted to we could throw down another piece of glass right up here so we don't step on this ever and lastly we can take our mana lens and we should be able to right click it on here from this side and so all we need now is a redstone pulse going in there. And we've got a hovering hourglass already crafted from last episode that we can use. So we'll throw that down right here and throw two sand into it. And it should start dropping it when this pulses and we have mana in here. I forgot we actually need to put our mana in here. Uh, Oh, you know what? I hope we can get this down. It might not actually be able to get on here. Let's see if we can sneak it under into this block right here. Can it take mana from items? It is taking it, but I don't think this is going to land. Oh, there we go. There we go. We got it. We got it. So we'll let all the mana leave that. And you should be able to see that we are getting everything that we could want right now from this. The stone is going in here. And, oh, I picked up our oak saplings. Um, But yeah, you can see it's dropping it. These will get picked up. And should keep going i guess it's the issue might be that every time these get updated it doesn't pick them up huh oh there we go okay so it picks them up kind of in a in a clump but i think this is pretty darn cool very simple setup to get this going with and obviously you know if you want to stop it you can only put in a little bit of mana at a time you could use a small mana pool uh it doesn't need to run 24 7 uh, or you could also take the sand out of this apply a redstone signal to this we could always grab this lever from right over here which i was using to disable the hopper hawk so that i could put down my mana tablet and we can throw it right up here next to this and if we really wanted to i think we can just flip it like that okay we cannot do that oh you know what? we'd have to put it next to the pulse mana spreader that's how we would stop it so if we wanted to stop it we should be able to do this and this will keep going but it'll have a constant signal applied so there won't be any pulsing and that'll be good. So this is the whole setup. It gets you a ton of stone really fast, smooth stone. It's pretty darn awesome. I think it looks cool. Uh, I could make the top look a little bit better. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind placing that. Uh, I wouldn't even mind placing uh, down living rock instead of the glass. It might look better, but that is the setup. This is not my design. I don't want to take credit for this at all. Uh, if you want to see the original video, which is a very short one that goes over it, uh, it will be linked in the description. It's an awesome design. So, you know, kudos for coming up with it. And, you know, hopefully you guys find this useful. And the last thing that we are going to do is make some mana steel gear. So the only reason that I have, uh, we've got a lot of iron and it should not take that much to convert. So we can just dump all of it in there. We should have more than enough mana and we'll be doing 27 because we want to get the pick too. So we can come over here and we can craft all of this. Now to make the pick, we are going to need living wood twigs and we can go like so and then we can take our gear here now man of steel gear should have the protection of iron uh the only nice thing is that when you have mana on you 
it does not take damage and also looks pretty cool so the way that you can do this is by filling up a mana tablet and keeping it on you oh uh, wow we look sick now uh, along with that, we can also take a, uh, what is it, a mana band right here, or a greater mana band, and you can wear them in your bauble slot and prevent yourself from ever taking damage on your armor or tools, stuff like that. So it's pretty awesome, pretty effective, so you don't need to keep wasting diamonds or anything. And so we just throw down the mana tablet here, let it fill up a little bit, and, oh no, it got picked up again. Okay. Well, you guys get the idea. It's just going to keep getting picked up until I put a redstone signal on this over here, but... I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I know it was a little bit of a shorter video. I've been kind of busy. I had a very rough orgo exam the other day, and uh, I think it's the most stressed I've ever been for an exam, but I just want to keep you guys updated. I will be returning home in two weeks, so we will have daily videos then. The quality will be a lot better, and on top of that, I am about to upgrade my CPU from an i5-3750, I believe, to an i7-6700K. So even if I don't overclock it, it should be a lot better, allowing me to produce, it should be 60 FPS videos. Uh, so that'll be happening over winter break for me. And along with that, we should be able to effectively do streaming once I have decent internet at home, uh, a lot better, all that good stuff. So that's pretty much just some stuff you guys can look forward to. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you found it entertaining or informative in any way, please feel free to give it a like as it does help me out a lot. And I will talk to you guys later.